All right, here we go. The final chapter. And now the final battle is come. Marie is waiting for you, my friend. She knows what you have done. She knows everything. Marie has hoped all this time that you would save the world, and here you are, on the brink of it. You stand upon a knife edge. She has kept faith in you despite everything. Now you must fulfill your destiny, and the truth will out. I will help you, old friend. I will be with you in this, your moment of victory. Oblivion, Sempaterna, Daemonis. Congratulations. You have done well, my friend. I see you have united the powers. Excellent. We can now end this. Once and for all. Come. Yes. Let's bring an end to this charade. Finally, it is time for the truth. Let us remove our masks. You! You are the lord of the necromancers! The final lord! Now you begin to understand! Yes, Gabriel! It was I who cast the spell that separated the earth from the heavens! I knew this would force my brothers and sister in heaven to contact the Order here on Earth. The prophecy was their little ray of hope in the dark. We Lords of Shadow, as you call us, have been impotent for far too long, fixed in an uneasy truce for many centuries, each possessing our share of the power, but each unable to have mastery over the others. Until now. I grew so tired of these years of proliferation, a constant truce between the three of us, each unwilling to concede or cooperate with the others, they were too blind to see the potential in the power we held. If only it were combined. I desired that ultimate power and was prepared to probe the very depths of hell in search of knowledge to acquire it. I fought hordes of demons and became strong. Then a force so vast and terrible entered into me, expanding my knowledge of the dark arts until it reached unimagined heights. All I needed was someone to restore the luminous power of the spirits according to the prophecy, and you have been the perfect dupe. Of course, I couldn't arouse their suspicions that it was I who desired the power for my own. No. I used the prophecy as my cover. And you, my shining knight. I will not allow you to stand in my way, Zobek. I am sure you won't. But you really have no say in the matter, my dear friend. I could quite easily kill you for your insolence. But fortunately, 
There is no need. What do you mean? The gauntlet will do it for me. As I told you, dark power is my dominion, forged in the pits of hell no less. There was just the small matter of the child and her protector. But you came through with flying colors. I needed your strength of will and courage to complete the quest. But I couldn't risk you becoming too powerful. I needed to control you at the end, once you had murdered them. I knew you would never be able to challenge me whilst wearing it. Poor little Claudia. Such a sweet thing. No. You have exceeded even my wildest expectations, killing and butchering your way to victory. There is a terrible darkness in you, my friend. Your burning desire to resurrect your darling Marie has blinded you to it. As you slept, I was able to influence you with this mask. But even I did not foresee the beast that lay within. It was all too easy to make you kill them. Your penchant for murder and death were insatiable. You just needed a little nudge, and off you would go in search of the one thing that could bring her back. Yes, Gabriel, now you finally understand. It was you who murdered your wife. No! You lie! Bastard! Search your soul, Gabriel. You know it to be true. I was worried she would reveal my charade to you at the lake. But it seems she had a false hope that even a killer such as you could redeem himself and save the world. Even the child, Claudia, could see her own demise at your hands. And yet she also trusted in you to the bitter end. Glorious, isn't it? God himself sees you for what you are. A cold-blooded murderer. Beyond redemption? Beyond... Hope! Let me free you of your heavy burden. Goodbye, old friend. <laughs> Hail, mighty Zelbeck. Who's there? Who? Don't you remember me? I came to you in the void. I granted you knowledge and power. Power that you could never have obtained on your own. Surely you haven't forgotten. In fact, I planted the idea for this whole elaborate ruse into your tiny mind in order to serve my own higher purpose. I no longer need your assistance. The power is now mine. No! Before the end, you will bow down to me!
It is your time again, Lord. Don't be afraid. Come with us. Join us. Get away from him. Don't wake him. Don't touch him! You cannot have him! <laughs> if you take him, we are all lost. Darkness will triumph, and there will never, ever be peace or hope. We will be trapped here forever. Don't you see? We must grant him the power to go will back. Will he free us? Will we see the light that was promised? I believe in him. His heart is pure. He is our last hope. Our only hope. So, he has abandoned you too. So be it. Join me. I will love you more than he. I was adored once above all others. I, too, didn't deserve to be cast out, abandoned. Now you know what that feels like, don't you? Hate can bring us back, give us strength, embrace it. It is what is in men's hearts that he cares about. He loves you as he loves me. We have only to ask for forgiveness deep within ourselves and be welcomed back. You monkeys don't deserve redemption. It is my divine right to rule by his side as an equal, or perhaps more than that. You would rather rule in power and might than to offer forgiveness and love. This is why you are cast out, unholy one. You dare to challenge me? You will die for your blasphemy. Your soul belongs to me. <laughs> All right. Yes, we are fighting anything. Satan. That's okay, though. We can take this guy. Devil or not, he has no idea who he's messing with. Now, as for these things, you can pass through them safely by turning on the same color of magic. Now... Satan fights like Pan, he switches his magic type. And it's pointless to hit him with magic of the same color, he won't do any damage to him. He has a lot of health too, so this is going to be a long one. If you're really quick with switching your magic, you can extend or shorten this fight pretty fast because he takes a lot of damage from opposite color hits. Not only that, but it heals you pretty quickly, too. And, uh, Holy Water is pretty much useless against him. This is what happens if you go in as an opposite color. Yeah, he hurts you a little. You have been fooled, Gabriel! She is gone forever! Oh, shut up. Whoa, what am I doing? Stop that. Surely you can do better than that. 
Gabriel. I can. Impossible. Is that the power of God? Now here we want to change colors before we pass through these. The little devil's pissed you off. Think you can defeat me. Okay. Now, don't ever miss a QTE against this guy. It will result in instant death. And as far as those barriers, yeah, you want to turn on the color that it equal to or corresponds to it before you pass through it. Otherwise, you'll just get shocked and you won't get through. Really? All this light shit? Okay, watch this. Oh, that was stupid. That's what not to do. Come on, Sabre. You can do better than that. Notice my health pretty much stays full. He gets this new attack also, which he drops meteors. I will wipe the name of Belmont from this world forever! You can kind of see where they're coming in. Also, another important thing that I haven't pointed out yet is your magic is infinite in this battle. So you can feel free to abuse it. As a matter of fact, that is the way to beat him. That was kind of cheap. But that is the way to beat him by using the opposite magic color. I mean, you can fight him without magic at all. In fact, the trial for this level is to beat Satan without him hitting you with an opposite color attack. And that takes a long time. Hitting him without magic, you you barely scratch his health gauge, but you can kill him that way. You think you can defeat me? I know I can defeat you. He calls Reapers too, which can be destroyed by being hit by the opposite color. not to do that against me yet. You think you can defeat me? I know I can kick your ass. Looks like whose health gauge is almost gone? Yeah, that's what I thought, smart ass. Up yours. Damn you, Gabriel! Damn me. You're the devil, what are you doing damning me, buddy? I think you've had enough. Stay back from me. Okay, this is gonna be a tricky one. You fucker. Gotcha. Oh, my God. 
murderer. Uh, your soul is damned. I ask forgiveness and mercy for those that I have wronged. What I did, I did unknowingly. Yet I would change everything if I could. He isn't listening, Gabriel. Your fate is fixed. Every man has the power to repent. I have faith in that. Forgive me. Forgive me. My God. I will search for your memory. I will introduce her to such pleasures. Her soul will go only to him. Once I have finished with you. Angel! My love. Life? No. I do not want this. Why has my life been given back to me? It is your fate. You have been given back what was wrongfully taken from you. To repent your sins. To make amends. But without you? You freed them all. You saved us all, my Gabriel. I couldn't save you. I knew I could not tell you, or despair would have eroded your resolve and everything would have been lost. I had faith in you, hoped that you would be strong enough to free the world, and you did not let me down. I am not worthy of your faith, your love. I am nothing. You are a good man, Gabriel. You are as God intended. Fallible, yet capable of great things. I loved you then, as I love you now. I see before me a man who has regained God's favor, and who has my forgiveness, and the forgiveness of all the lost souls of this world. You have saved us all, and you have saved yourself. The mask is a powerful device. It allows us to see through God's eyes. Can it really bring the dead back? Yes. Look. Too late for me, my love. I cannot come back. No. No, don't go. It is my time. The light is calling. I'm not no. afraid. Please, stay. Stay with me. It's beautiful, Gabriel. So beautiful. It's calling to me. Calling. I love you, Mary. I love you.
so ends the walkthrough of Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Although stay put, because coming up is the epilogue, and in my opinion, it is the most important part of the Castlevania story. Maybe not so much for the story of this game, but for what could be coming up in future Castlevania games. As far as this game, um, yeah, it's a great, great game overall. Uh, I, I did like the combat system. I also thought the magic concept was pretty neat. And the boss fights ranged from just a normal boss fight to completely epic. Such as the last Titan we fought, but I kind of, you know, took the easy road. Ah. Thank you to all everyone who took the time to watch this walkthrough. Even if you weren't lost or stuck in the game and just felt the need to see how I did things. Uh, that was very cool of you. Uh, special thanks to Sabrina, because I know she sat through the whole thing. And Sugar Britches, I know he's been watching it too from time to time. And to all my subscribers, you guys are awesome. And to all the viewers that came across this wondering, how do I solve this puzzle? It's... Thank you. Thank you for coming here and, you know, checking my stuff out because I, it, it means a lot to me guys especially when I know that uh, someone's stuck somewhere and they come to my video for help that that's just awesome I, I enjoy doing this as far as what I didn't like about the game I should probably put this in there too um, you may have noticed that I only used a few combos the guillotine the direct heavy and the chainsaw throughout the entire course of the LP I mean, yeah, I dinked around with a couple other moves here and there, but I have tried them all out, and for the most part, those are the only combo moves that I really enjoy using. The rest of them are just kind of, well, there for show, for the most part. So yeah, there's tons of combo moves, I would say close to 50, if not more, but as far as I'm concerned, there's only three that are really any good. That's just my opinion on it, though, of course. I don't expect anyone to agree or even care, but that's the way I see it. Also, sometimes it seems like the game's frame rate is extremely low during combat. This is not that big a deal, but... I don't know. Some, maybe something that shouldn't have happened, really. Overall, though, it's it's a great game. Very, very long. 20-plus hours to complete. I haven't even taken the time to add up my the total for my videos, but I imagine I, it's probably close to 15 or 16 hours, and I knew what I was doing. So, first time run through, yeah, it's probably going to take you 20 hours to get through it. Other than that, I don't really know what else to say about the game. It's fun. Uh, we can fast forward through these credits a little bit by pressing down. I want to do that because this video is running ridiculously long. I really don't want to go over that 2 gigabyte limit. Yep, again, thanks to everyone for watching. Thank you to Mercury Steam for putting out this awesome game. Thank you to Hideo Kojima for assisting Mercury Steam with this awesome game. Thank you to Konami for publishing it. And I cannot wait for the next installment. But, let's move along here to the epilogue. Holding down. I'm running out of stuff to talk about, that's what it is. <laughs> here we go. Enjoy.
An unusual hiding place for the Prince of Darkness. Don't you think? Zobak. Yes, old friend. It is I. Where have you been all this time? Out there. Amongst the living. And what of you? Why have you been hiding all this time? Gabriel. Don't you dare call me that. E. Sint Dracul. No doubt, you once were, but alas, look at you now, hmm. a mere shadow of your former self. Shadow, am I? What do you want, old friend? Satan's acolytes are readying for his imminent return. He is unlikely to welcome both of us with open arms. Don't you think? Help me stop him. Or you and I will become his favorite pets. For all eternity. It is time to get out of this wretched tomb you have made for yourself. Stop skulking in the shadows. Don't you care that he will enslave you? I know what it is you yearn for. I cannot die. Yet. I cannot live. Help me. And I can free you of your immortality. Yes, that is what you thought. Gabriel Belmont has become Dracula. Now, I kind of figured that out by the time I got to Necromancer's Abyss, but that just confirms it, which sets the stage for the future of the Castlevania franchise. Now, I'm not so sure I understand why they were in modern times there with, you know, cars and such, but... I think Mercury Steam is going to explain that in one of the upcoming DLCs. We get two DLCs this year. Anyway, 
So ends Castlevania Lords of Shadow. Thank you for watching. If you like what you saw here, go ahead and subscribe. It, will, it won't hurt anyone. For additional reviews, walkthroughs, and other commentaries and foolishness in high definition, Crashdown96 out.